a father's desperate sacrifice. A young boy survives to swear an oath. I swear to devote my life to the destruction of piracy and injustice. My sons and their sons shall follow me. This is the legacy of my family. A vow handed down from father to son for over 500 years. Now, in the year 2040, I am the ghost who walks. I am the Phantom. Garan tells me that some mysteries are not meant to be solved. He's a very wise man, but I sort of humor him when he says this. To me, mystery is an important part of life. Garan agrees, but sometimes he takes his Zen view of mystery like it's a beautiful work of art. Look, but don't touch. Me? I think there's no shortage of mysteries to solve. There's always another one to replace the one you just figured out. What? This is impossible. Rebecca Madison has had a serious meltdown this time. Dazzling sight, Mother. Too bad it's only a diversion. All good things take time, right, Gordon? True enough, mate. We're just waiting for our special guest, so Gordon can send in a special biops. Baudelaire doesn't think we need to wait any longer. The life of the party has arrived. I have thousands of his brilliant little nano biops. They're going to turn this city's computer systems into jelly. Starting with the enforcers of fandom data systems. I do believe in going right to the top. Over to you, partner. Well, get on with it. It's not polite to keep a lady waiting. Shooting. Any guesses why Maximum Inc. is playing this particular game? I was gonna ask you the same question. Phantom doesn't know everything. Hmm. They don't seem to have any real point of attack. Maybe too many points of attack. Doesn't make any sense. Where are you going? It might be a control by it. If so, I'll knock it out. Flying on automatic. This is all standard maximum ink equipment. Delay, then terminate. It's World War IV, and the next it's all peace and happiness. Did you find a control bio? No. Do you hear a little voice telling you that Rebecca Madison is up to something large? Yeah, I think we're hearing the same voice.
right about now, the Phantom will be arriving back at his home secret home. Which means our little nanobiots are arriving too. Cute little gliders, ain't they? Craft! <laughs> Progress report! There's nothing to report until the Phantom downloads the onboard computer from his hypersight. I know that. As I said, we're right on schedule. She's Jake, mate. Oh, Father, Baudelaire thinks your wife is amusingly volatile tonight. Yes, she's very fragile. Hmm, so is nitroglycerin. I agree with your assessment, Kit. Rebecca is up to no good. Well, that's not exactly a live feed newsflash. Question is, what is she up to? Maybe the data download from my hypercycle will give us something to go on. I'll take over here. Go check on your father if you wish. Garan? Hello, Father. Status display. Looking good today, Dad. One day, I'll get you out of there. I promise. Cryogenic suspension has failed. Cryogenic suspension has failed. Dad! This tells me what, but not why. That means we don't know how to restore cryogenic suspension. Not yet, we don't. It's as though the poison in his system has reacted with the cryogenic process. We have no time, kid. I'm afraid we've lost him this time. Do what you can, Garan. If we can't save him, maybe I can download his memories and knowledge into the Phantom Chronicles. We don't have that technology. We don't. But I know who does. Rebecca downloaded Max Madison Sr.'s memories. One way or another, I have got to find out how. If I destroy it, I'll set off alarms all over this place. This might work for a few seconds. Standing wave. It's all in the wrist. Now to find Rebecca. I'll make her tell me what I want to know. The diagnostics show nothing. Is the Phantom's dad really gonna do the Maximum Terminate program? Yes, I'm afraid so. Phantom, this is Garan. Phantom, this is Garan. Do you read me? Where is he? I don't know. For the first time, he has cut off all comm links. Well, when do we see some results? I want results! I'm monitoring, that's all. You want results? Talk to what's left of your husband. Insult my dear nearly departed one more time, and I'll turn you into a kitchen appliance. Yes, Graft. Mother is very touchy on the subject of my father. <laughs> Obviously, so is Baudelaire. I still want my progress report! Well, father should be back soon. He went to examine some nano-control circuits. Of course, son. He's a busy man, after all. Woof. Rebecca's circuitry is more seriously phased than I thought. Surprise visit might surprise her, and it might not. Take me to Rebecca. 
That is most ill-advised. We should leave this place at once. There is an exit only I know. I never could resist a mystery. And this one's first class. Big time. Gorda's ready to take over the whole Enforcer HQ data system, so what gives? Just waiting for my husband to return. Call back in a few minutes, okay? Has he gone fishing or something? We gotta move before they figure out they got bugs. My nanobiots are not just bugs. She's making me nervous. When did she not? But look at it this way, Kraft. If you don't like Mother's personality, just wait a few minutes and it'll change. He should have been back by now. I never could trust him. Well? The senior Mr. Madison is no longer in the building. What? Surveillance identified him leaving the premises with the Phantom. No! Start changing plans. No way! Go ahead with the Enforcer data system. Oh, and while you're taking it over, look for my husband and that purple pustule. <laughs> my mother. That was positively poetic. Both of you, find him. Use every bot. Every drone! Everything! Just because he's dead doesn't mean he can walk out on me! Why in Metropia do you want to stay here? We'd be much safer at my place. No. Rebecca has contaminated your data system with a virus. What? No, my data systems are virus proof. This virus is special. Rebecca modified it from my design for nanotechs, microscopic biots intended for equipment repair and construction purposes. Grant, shut down all systems. We have a virus. I understand. We'll get right on it. You have got a lot of explaining to do, Maxie. It has been a long time since your father called me Maxie. You know about my father? I know most of the Phantom Secrets. We were friends. Oh, yeah? Let's see what else you know. Like what happened 16 years ago between you and my father, and the big toxin disaster that wiped out half of Metropia, and the train wreck. You can wreck access everything by using a special passcode. I cannot use it to access myself, but you can. It is flowers of evil. Okay. I'm downloading. Metropia was dying a slow death, choking on its own toxic wastes. Your father, the Phantom, and I worked together to find solutions. The Phantom discovered a plant in Africa that actually ate the toxins and poisons in our environment. The Ghostwood consumes toxins, but it also kills other plants. It might be worth it, if we can save Metropia from destroying itself. We built enormous hydroponics tanks near Grand Central Station. Hydroponics? You mean you didn't store poison in those tanks? You grew Ghostwood in them? All incorrect sequence, Phantom. Completely unknown to me at the time, my own wife developed an enormously powerful poison. Mommy, Mommy Shakespeare wants to know what you're doing. I'm making a secret potion, Max, darling. And I'll make all of Metropia drink this secret potion until everyone is very sick. Well, what will happen then? Our company will save everyone by selling them the cure for their sickness. <laughs> They'll be the king and queen of Metropia. Oh, will I be the prince? Exactly, darling. <laughs> Shakespeare really likes that story, Mommy. The Phantom discovered the poison stored in two tanks identical to our Ghostwood tanks. She'd hidden it under our noses. He didn't know that Rebecca had done it. He died without knowing the whole truth. I'm afraid Max has snapped. He's gone over the edge. He plans to destroy Metropia's environment. Checking up on your special tanks? Phantom, what are you talking about? What are you doing? I know everything, Madison. And I'm gonna destroy these tanks. But these tanks are the future of Metropia. Not if I can help it. No, you, you mustn't. All the hard work, it's got to pay off. 
Then came the final disaster, the train wreck. Rebecca caused the disaster, not your father. And she altered the data files to contain only her lies. <laughs> Phantom and I both died, and our secrets died with us. Until... Until Rebecca perfected a means of downloading my memories, my knowledge, so she could access it. And after the poison disaster almost wiped out Metropia, the Ghostwood took root, ate up the poison, and grew into the ghost jungle. You really were my father's friend. Yes. We might be able to fight our way out. I am not equipped for combat. And there's a good reason for that. Imagine what my husband might do if you were armed. So, you wouldn't put up a fight if I threatened to vaporize him, right? Please do. Do it, Phantom. For an old friend. He might not put up a fight, but his mates would. And with him gone, you wouldn't last two shakes of a dingo's tail. I know all about you, Rebecca. I know what you did. I've downloaded it. Even if you could kill me, you'd spend forever in jail. <laughs> <laughs> You downloaded it into a contaminated computer system, Phantom. I'll simply erase it. I know about your virus, too. That must be why old Gorda can't access his data system. He's wiped out the virus! See? The game's over, Rebecca. Baudelaire wants to know what game you're playing, Phantom. Oh, yes, it's over. For you! You know, Max, it really is too bad. We could have been friends, just as your father and the Phantom were, had it not been for your mother. Grout! End it! Camouflage. Destroy the Phantom! Let's go. This really is too much. Too much. You'll find the good man. <laughs> Looks like you still have your sense of humor too, Maxie. I believe humor gives us an advantage. Understand, Phantom. The highest purpose of my existence now is ending it. No, not yet. I didn't tell you my father is still alive. His cryogenic suspension has failed. I need your help to download his memories and knowledge. Yes, of course. Penetrate and delay. Those biots will be here any minute. We're almost home. Be calm, Satan. Max Senior did help us destroy that virus. I still don't see how you can trust him. What if this is a trick? My father told me Max Senior was once his friend. He never knew that Max Senior is still his friend. We're ready. Digitizing. Downloading. Now. Sagan. Take Sparks down to Enforcer HQ. He can help you wipe that virus out of the Enforcer data system. I don't want to leave you alone with him. Don't worry, Sagan. We are among friends. It's done. Not just yet. I've added your download. The whole true story of what happened 16 years ago to the Phantom Chronicles. Not Rebecca's lies. I am 
honored to be finally reunited with my dearest friend. Reunited for all time. Kit, his life signs are fading. I'll leave you to say your last goodbyes. It's over at last. Rest well, my old friend. Goodbye, Father. I couldn't save your life. But now you'll live forever in the Chronicles. The Bayard can't terminate himself. Please, do what I can. If it's from you, I know I'll like it. Uh, you're just saying that because it's true. Anyway, here goes. Based on Max Senior's download and visual records from the Enforcer HQ attack, we arrested Rebecca, Gorda, and Max Jr. Yeah, excellent. Well, that's not the best part. Preliminary report is Rebecca will be behind bars for a long, a long time. Max Jr., on the other hand, is going to be in a very special hospital for a long, long time, and Gorda is going back to Australia for a long, long time. Maximum Inc. is up for sale, and Graf is in a halfway house. <laughs> I feel so confident that we've cleaned up this place that I'm going to take a vacation for a long, long time. Or until the world needs the Phantom again. Phantom, out, out.